Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer by profession, working in manufacturing industry since the last 22 years. Today I'll discuss a very important topic about us actually, human. This is the topic for human actually. This is technically called the anthropometry. Or oh, in a simple way, measurement of human body. You know, internal part of the body and external part of the body both in static conditions and in dynamic conditions. You know, anthropometry is the subject, it's like physics, chemistry, geography, it is a subject which by graduation is there by, you know, BSc in anthropometry and this subject like MSc in anthropometry. It is a standard subject which talks about the human only. So as a human, we should know this subject a little bit. Though by profession I'm an engineer, but I also interested on this subject. So when I was in 2012, I was in the US for some you know, official work for a short period. So I also did a certification course from there on anthropometry. So this is a very interesting subject for me. I hope you'll also like the subject. Today we will uh, discuss about the mass like body mass index, like your uh, shape of the body, size of the different components of the body and the proportions of the body actually, different proportions of the body and composition of the body. So this is the area actually, anthropometry, I will uh, discuss. Now, you all know this is a body mass index, the correctness of your body weight. So body weight is related with your, you know, uh, or rather you can say technically it is a function of your height. So, whether your weight is right or not, it is related with your height. This is a body mass index chart, BMI chart, you can see here, different zones are there like underweight, healthy weight, normal weight, overweight, you know, always like that, morbid always like that. So, body mass index is basically your weight divided by your height in which you scar. Say your weight is 70 kg, your height is 1.6 meter, so your body mass index will be 70 divided by your height is 1.6 into 1.6, say uh, it's 28. So your, you know, you will be in a, you know, this is overweight uh, region. So, so this is the concept of body mass index actually. And uh, you can see your, uh, from the photograph, say if your body mass index is ranging from 19 to 25, you will, you will be considered as a healthy. If it is less than 19, then it is an underweight. And uh, you know, if it is 25 to 30, you are considered as the overweight person. If your body mass index is between 30 to uh, 35, you are an obese person. If it is 35 to 40, you are a severely obese. If it is a 40 to 60, it is a morbid obese. Here you can see. And if your body mass index is more than 60, you are severely morbid index actually, you know, uh, body mass index. And you can see from this curve also, like if your body, you know, you have a right body weight, then you it is a healthy actually. Right? Body mass index or disease risk actually. This is a graph is plotted. So those who are body mass index is ideally 22 and 5. And those who are interested to know much more about the body mass index, I have a separate video on YouTube channel. Like is this is BMI. Body mass index, you can go through that. So you'll find a lot of information on body mass index. Now, there is a WHA, WCR and health risk. WHA means waist to hip ratio, WCR means waist to chest ratio. Now, for male actually, you know, waist to chest ratio is important, waist to hip ratio is not important. And for the female actually, you know, waist to hip ratio is important actually. Important in the sense, I'm talking about, you know, health risk uh, point of view, not the physical or the appearance aspects. You know, if you uh, but if you say in a simple way, without going into all this technical issues or mathematical data, say if your chest is 40 and if your waist is 45, then it is you are in health risk actually. If your chest is 40 and if your waist is 34, then it is a good actually. So there is a waist to chest ratio actually. Uh, so that is for the uh, for male it should be point eight five like that. For the female, say 0 0.7. So, so that is a this comes under the body proportion actually. So that is a proportion of different parts of the body, like your chest with your waist, with your waist, the your hip. 
So this is a, then the standard chart like for body mass in the, for WHR and WCR, both for male and female, the chart is different obviously. And you know, body shape classification. There are um, body shape actually, one is called endomorph. Actually, like, you know, those are fatness and roundness body actually, those who are used to call the bulky actually. And the second uh, class of the body is called the mesomorph. It's a prominent muscular body. There are people who have got, you know, without going into gym even, they have got a muscular structure in the body. So this is called mesomorph body structure in, in, in anthropometry term. And there is an ectomorph actually, narrow, or uh, narrow shoulders and small bones actually. So, so they, they, this comes under the ectomorph actually. So, body shape classification as per anthropometry it is an endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. You can see these pictures here, like you know, the endomorph, mesomorph, like this actually. And like you can also check like if endomorph, like you know, is some bulky person, so that can be measured by the skin for measurement techniques. And those who are mesomorphs that can be checked with the joint width, like you know, those as I say, there's a mesomorph people have a built, you know, there's a muscular uh, body actually. So that can be measured with the different, it's called gut measurement, also like the wrist. Say a person have a height of five feet or say six feet, but some person has got a wrist width is this much, some person has got a wrist width is this much, and some person has got very wide wrist. Or the, Obviously, the proportion of the same on the other parts of the body. So that is a you know the joint uh, width. This is called technically. So by that mesomorph category of body can be measured. And there is a ponderal index by which ectomorph those who are very slim and thin actually. So that can be measured. Now there is one thing called body proportionality. Say your height is increased by six inch. So what is your, what would be your you know the volume of your body? Increase. What is the relationship actually? It is the you know the height uh, height cubes actually. There is a formula. What I meant to say is say your there is a 10% increase. Some person has some x height and some person has got x plus 10% height. So the volume of the body will be x plus you know 10% cube times actually. So this is the body proportionality with respect to the area and volume of a person. And this is also very much, you know, related with the, when a person is running, you know, at least those who are running actually, they, 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 a lot of oxygen is needed in the body to run faster. And which is, you know, um, so those who have a body surface area is more, so they can run faster actually. It is not always, the, you know, uh, those who have a longer feet, they can run faster actually. There's a area of the body where there's, you know, oxygen, V2 oxygen max is called actually technically. The diffusion that is determined by the body surface area actually. This is also related to the you know anthropometry and there are a lot of other things like you know this in a fashion industry or you can say the garment industry rather in a simple way the body you know proportionality the different cross-sectional area of the body how it is, looks like actually what is the size of the cross-sectional area of the leg waist you read so the accordingly actually uh, they design the dresses actually Suppose you are making some shirt for exporting to US, you, you you need to know what is the size of the body of the different proportion of the body of the person living in US actually. So there are you know, the international brands of the garments actually, they need to know all these things, the different countries, their body proportionality. So this is a you know, very technical input for manufacturing of the garments in the international market. And there is uh, another thing called uh, body fat percentage, as I say, like, you know, there is an essential uh, uh, body, say, uh, you have a, a weight of 70 kg, so do you know how much only the fat of your body out of 70 kg, there is a process by which you can measure, you know, though your fat and the, you know, your muscle and bones are integrated part in your body, but only the fat can be separately measured, this is, there is a technique called body fat measurement process. So that is normally the fat is uh, you know, is uh, say 20% for the female body and say 15% of the total body for the male body. So there is a standard chart like what should be the fat content of the person's body with respect to the body weight. Like for the normal fitness person, say 21 to 24% for the woman should have a fat content in the body and that is say for 40 to 70% for the male. 
So this is another you know important area in anthropometric called body fat measurement. And you know that when some person has a 20 kg additional weight, uh, say your ideal weight should be 70 kg, now your weight is 90 kg. So additional 20 kg you'll find that 15 kg in your belly area actually. So there is a body fat distribution curve actually called technically. So um, that is there actually say if you can reduce your body weight by doing exercise and dieting 15 kg maybe only 500 grams you can reduce from your this area actually chin area so there are proportion of the fat distribution in the body you can see here in this curve you can see the, how the fat is pro, uh, distributed in the body so this is a, one another important area of the you know this uh that is a body uh, fat uh, area actually and this can be measured with a skin fold measurement uh, there is a process for measuring that there are seven areas of the body where by the instrument you can take the measurement and there is a formula you put the formula on the measurement then you'll find what is the body you know fat percentage in your body actually and those who are very much interested to know much more or in very depth or what is the body fat in that how it is measured I have another separate detailed video on YouTube on body fat measurement you can go to eat actually and there is an you know, anthropometric landmark on the body. Say what I meant to say is say in the night, at the dark night, woman is coming and male is coming. And there are some parts of the body will put some LED light. And according to the walking, we can say this is a female, this is a male. So this is actually the anthropometric landmark in the body is called by which male and female can be distinguished. And today there are a lot of you know, scanning machines come. So if you stand in front of a scanning machine, 3D scanner, in a, in a, you know, for less than one minute, a lot of measurement of your body can be done. Actually, like what is the fat percentage in your body? What is the you know the height proportionally? What is the body mass index? What is the you know there's the limb proportionality index? A lot of things will come up actually. You know, the four point geometry and you know this anthropometry is a very it's a subject. It's very similar to physics. It is not a very simple subject actually. Like what I mean to say is that subject comes under the science and a lot of calculations are there. There's a four point geometric measurement in anthropometry is called like kinematic uh, you know, connectivity, what is called individual limbness, and it is called the you know the appearance symmetry, what is called the width symmetry. So these are a lot of calculations are there you can see here in this picture. And as I already said, that in a fashion or the garment industry, the anthropometry is very much connected. Anthropometry also connected with the you know, ergonomics, like those say, what I mean to say, say you are going to design a steering of a car. So how, what is the body proportion of a person sitting inside the driver's seat? So that, that's consideration, anthropometry gives a lot of inputs. And also in the sports, like cricket, football, there are a lot of body proportionality and all these, uh, a lot of pixel recognition, there are a lot of technical term actually. So what I mean to say is anthropometry is a subject which is very much connected with this course also. And there are the life, how you are walking, how you are, you know, your gesture, your posture, everything is connected with anthropometry. So those who are not aware of this subject, you can go through this on um, this subject, this new subject, anthropometry. And this is the subject only made for human. So as a human, we all must you know, go to on this subject that is anthropometry. Thank you very much for your attention and time.